I'm just adding this little clip in, so please ignore the fact that I'm wearing a different outfit. It's actually December 10th when I'm adding this clip in to Flossmas Day 9. But I had an issue when uploading the video, so I went to go upload the video. I'd edited, rendered everything, and the file corrupted itself. Now, I hadn't realised it corrupted itself because I left it uploading and went straight into work because I was working last night. And it wasn't until I got to work did I realise it hasn't uploaded. So I do apologise for that. Um, obviously, I've, I could re-edit the footage, but there's not really much there and I need to focus on the future days. So I will try and if I still have a photo, I will insert it here of what my advents were. But the only thing that I really had to say in that video was I finished my cookie exchange so I told you on the Wednesday on my day off I wanted to get this finished and I have finished all of the stitching so once again this is stitched on 18 count Jodry Designs fabric in frosted cookie the pattern is um, the cookie exchange by Hands On Designs I believe at the time you're watching this video it may be available on her website if you didn't get to join in the um, stitch along now I'm going to be finished mine into a Christmas ornament to go on my Christmas tree but I will finish it at a later date. There's no rush to finish it because my tree is already decorated this year so I will see. I might finish it this month. It just all depends on time. So that's everything I had to say. I just didn't want to ignore the fact that I didn't have a video go up. I do apologise once again that um, I had those technical issues. Things do come up and obviously when I'm at work I can't re-edit and upload a video so I'm gonna leave you and hope you enjoy Flossmas Day 9. Bye! Morning all, it is Thursday December 9th this morning and I've come on for a quick little intro to this video because I have a feeling this video is going to be very different to normal, um, I mean very different to what I've been doing so far where I've been sitting down and filming clips. This is going to be a day where I've got to get stuff done. So it's probably just going to be little clips here and there. So I thought I would just come on quickly, say hi to you all. I've just had my blood tests done at my doctor's surgery and treated myself to a Costa coffee. A, a Costa coffee? Well, it's Costa coffee, but it's a white hot chocolate because I don't drink coffee. I don't really drink hot, hot drinks, but I really fancied something nice and warm while I wait for my taxi back to the school. So today on the plan, I've got a lot to do. I want to start my let it snow. I've got um, the morning off work. So I'm gonna do that in between getting some stuff done. Need to have a look into, can I still fly home for Christmas? What's going on? Which is a little bit concerning um, because I'm not entirely sure what's happening with PCR tests, with everything else. And it's it's just mayhem. So. I need to do that so I think it's going to be a lot of time on hold on the phone so I'll be stitching away as I do that. I'm back in work um, late afternoon evening and it's the students Christmas dinner so I'll be going in this afternoon and helping set up with that hopefully. Um, yeah it's it's just going to be one of those days so I'm just waiting for my taxi, I'm going to drink my hot chocolate while I wait and I will insert some clips. I have, I'm currently in a small little villagey town um, I don't know really what you call them in the UK because we're all like next to each other clustered so I'm going to call this like a little little village I guess um, and I'm going to insert some clips I've taken so they've there's always this I think you call it a yarn farmer I don't know what it's called who decorates the post box so I'll insert a little clip here of what they've done it's absolutely gorgeous they do it each season and I always love coming down and just checking out what they've done but also I've never seen the little houses that have been made. There's these little houses that line the pathway. So I'll insert a small clip of that so you can see. I really love what they've done. It's like really, really nicely built and it kind of adds that homely sense to this small little place. So absolutely love that. I better go because I've never actually vlogged outside. I'm a little bit worried what everyone's gonna think of me. So I'm gonna go try my hot chocolate and I will see you all in a bit, bye.
just about to start my new project which was voted on and is Let It Stow, the Caterpillar Cross Stitch uh, box number four piece. And I just wanted to mention, as I mentioned in my video the other day, that I tend to work out by drawing on a piece of paper. Now, I only do this for my small projects, not for my large projects, but I work out if I like the size. So the kit came with a 14 count piece of fabric, which would have been... It would have been a nice size for an ornament, but I wanted it a little bit smaller. So I've decided to go with a 16 count. And I'm not sure what brand this is. It's The colourway is Sea Spray. But I picked it up when I was in France, so I have no idea where it is. What it, what it is. But that's what I'm going to be doing. I've got my Costa Coffee and I'm going to catch up on Autumn Lane Flossmas Day 8. And I'm just going to start stitching. And I have to say, guys, I love the Caterpillar Cross Stitch Needle Minders. So I will show you an update a little bit later on. But I really hope you're having a good day. So I'm checking in with my last update of the 9th. It's currently 2 p.m. in the afternoon. I'll be going into work in a little bit. And I need to edit the video that will be going up this evening. So Flossmas um, for day 8. So that's something that I'm going to do. So I think pretty much all of my updates are going to finish now. I have started my Let It Snow. I really didn't get a whole lot of stitching in. I've spent a lot of time on the phone trying to chase down information. So I have started with the snow globe at the bottom. I've done the bottom. Sorry, my NCIS program is trying to play again on my laptop. So yeah, as I was saying, I have done the very bottom row. I've got the white star in that I'm not sure if you can see. And then I decided to work on the bow because I knew that was going to get in the way of doing my other stripes. Um, and what I do is I do the outline and then I fill in. So I'll definitely carry on. Hopefully while I'm editing my video, I'll be able to stitch a little bit more on this. It just depends on how much um, time it takes to upload and render the video so that's what I have been working on which I am loving um, and I really love their new way of doing their threads so it comes on a card like this rather than this is one of the old ones it used to come like this and they just get a tangled mess um, this one I finished the project this was uh, I believe gingerbread cottage yeah but as you can see I stitch on a smaller count fabric than they um, say so I'm stitching on a 16 count instead of 14 and on these I stitched on an 18 instead of a 16 so but even then you still get a load of thread so for instance I've finished with all of the red in my pattern and I still have enough probably to do the bow again so you get plenty of thread in your kit so I love the caterpillar cross stitch ones so I mentioned um, two videos ago about the Chatelaines and how I absolutely loved it. I do realise that I forgot to insert the photo of the one that I was talking about. But that night I was like, well, I keep looking into them. I keep talking myself out of them because of the specialty stitches and because of the beads and everything else. And they are quite expensive projects. And... I kept talking myself out of doing it and I have been for over a year and I decided, you know what, just do it. So, sorry, I've got everything balanced on my laptop and every time I move it, it moves. So I purchased it. Now I purchased the PDF download and I'm just gonna get rid of this cover. Um, and then what I do is I print out the booklet so I have a copy of it in case anything happens to my digital um, pattern but also that way I can reference it or look at the things so this is the one I am going to be stitching it's called the gardens of London mandala and it's absolutely stunning I love all of the British elements around the page um, absolutely love it so it is going to be a big project it's not going to be finished anytime soon I am I have ordered the fabric now the fabric is a very large piece of fabric. I don't have anything in my stash that's going to be large enough to do this. And I'm going to be doing it on 20 count even weave in white. And I ordered a couple of the threads. Now, I've only ordered 
the stuff I need for this very centre part because I'm waiting to see if I get any gift cards or anything for Christmas and all of the gift cards will probably, unless they're Etsy gift cards, will go on to kitting up this piece. So I have ordered and I am hoping they arrive because I ordered it, it's got a week until my Royal Mail stops delivering. So because I live at a school, we stop our Royal Mail on, I believe it's going to be the 15th or 16th, I think the 16th which is next Friday. So hopefully the stuff comes in. And if it does, I think this is going to be my New Year's um, start. Unless plans change, and if I'm here, then if I get the stuff in, then I'll start it. If not, I'm just gonna start it when the materials come in, if they don't arrive before New Year's. So as I said, I've only ordered the parts to do this very, very middle section here. And I think with this one, it's going to be a kit it up bit by bit as I go so that way I don't have the huge expense of kitting it up because it has got a lot of specialty threads in it it has got a lot of beads in it I have already bought some of the beads which I'll show you in a moment but yes I am super excited and super looking forward to that so hopefully my fabric does come in um, so I can get that started I am a little bit nervous about the specialty stitches but she does Basically, she, see if I can find some that I can show you. There you go. So she does show you a detail of the specialty stitches. And then what I love is the fact that she gives you details of where it is, what thread to use, and then instructions, written instructions on how to do it, as well as the little um, pictogram. So I am super excited about that. I'm really, really happy and I did bite the bullet and I ordered it. So when I come to stitching it, I will have this as a reference, probably open to the pages where it tells you um, like your your key of what threads to be using. And then I'll, I'll stitch using my digital copy because when I printed the pattern off, you'll see it is really, really small. You're not gonna be able to see too much detail on that, um, but it is just a, reference guide so i've got that one printed and spiral bound so and spiral bound so really really happy i did that and then i'm really surprised these came in because i only ordered these yesterday i ordered from i believe it's called spellbound let me just check um because these are delica beads that it wanted instead of mill hill and i've used this company before the spell bead bead company and I've used them before in my other beading projects when I was doing slow stitching. I bought some illusion cords, some clear cords, so I don't know whether this is going to be any good for beading. I wasn't really sure what I would need and some beading needles. But then I also picked up the four shades of beads it needed for the middle. I think it needed nine shades in all, but I just decided to go with the four. So I've got these silver lined sapphire beads and they're stunning i love how much sparkle is going to be on this project which surprises me because i'm not normally a sparkle person um i got the aqua green silk satin beads and i probably don't need as many beads as i've ordered but i thought it'd be quite good um to have some beads in my stash anyway um, especially because I have been starting to work on collecting Mill Hill beads that I need so I could use these in other projects as well. Some galvanised gold beads. And then I think this is probably my favourite. These are lined sky beads AB and they're absolutely stunning. There's no way you're going to be able to see the sparkle on camera. So yes, that I have ordered, so fingers crossed that my fabric and stuff gets here. Um, as I said, I have ordered a couple of the specialty threads. Some of them weren't in stock, so I'm going to be subbing those for what I have in my collection um, and just using other hand-dyed threads that I can find. But this is a project where I am going to try and use the threads that it calls for, but it I mean, yeah, like, this is all threads that it needs. 
and that's all threads and it and then some more on the back these are actually the beads on the back but I'm not sure where I would get the Swarovski crystal beads now I know I can get a kit from one of the shops in Europe but I'm not sure if I want to do that because of customs I'm not sure how that's going to work so if anyone knows where I can get Swarovski crystals the four millimeter bicones um, or the 12 millimeter heart which I think the 12 millimeter is discontinued but if you know where you could where I can find these could you let me know because I've never actually had to kit up a project that has Swarovski crystals in them but I would love that if I'm going all out on this project I want the full bling so advents so Jodry Designs day number nine and oh this is a springy colour I didn't think this would be um Khan's Birdwing Butterfly so it's definitely more of a spring than a winter colour. It's a gorgeous blue yellow, but where the blue and yellow meet, there are some teeny tiny sections like up here. If I can move this out the way. There's some, I'm not sure if you can see in there, the little bit of green where the two dyes have mixed. But that is, that is very different. So far, all of the colours I've had have been very wintry colours or Christmassy colours. So it's nice to see something different. So that's a nice spring-like colour. And then day number nine for the Patchwork Rabbit. Oh, we've got a DMC... Oh, it's... Is it a Light Effects? It's one of the metallics. E3852. Now, I don't actually know too much about about DMC metallics so I've never I think I've only used them once and didn't get on with it I love the DMC A12 this is definitely not the A12 one but that's fun I'm gonna see how I get on with this if not um I may try and use it in another way I wonder if this would work for cording actually I wonder if you could use metallic DMC for cording I may have to look that up but this is this is super fun so i think that's pretty much everything for today i was thinking this is going to be quite a short one but i think because i've been filming clips here and there throughout the day i think it is going to be a little bit longer um not too long but i think it might be a little bit of a longer clip so once again i really hope you've enjoyed please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up and i will see you all tomorrow Happy stitching, guys. Bye.